morning, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit, does this thing go now? So you get it in the box. Well, oh, it's not in the box. It's out of the box. The box is over here. A cracked fucking magnet. This is the way I'm going to be using. Nobody mentioned anything about the temperature sensors. I'm just going to jam them in somewhere. I've wired a buzzer. There. I'm going to make this out of chopped tow, carbon fibre. This is the finished product. It's not 100% perfect because I can't be asked to do anymore. Finally, this has taken a lot longer than I wanted it to. It's done. It's on. You'll never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked. Well, it's not as clean as the other one. Here's the original, and here's mine. When the day comes, I'm going out. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another fantastic day on planet earth and it really is today because I'm taking this out as you can see it's called the Vortex FQS now that the F, the F actually stands for, 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 for make your own mind up it goes like stink it really does shift. I'm not going to be test testing the top end. I'm not going to be testing acceleration. I'm not going to be doing all that shit. I know it's got a lot of power. I mean, 811 brake horsepower per ton. Obviously, when I sit on it, that's completely knackered it because I weigh more than that. But, you know, the standard vehicle is 811 horsepower per ton, which is the most powerful scooter on the earth at the minute uh, yes it's not for off-road use but I am going off-road I mean it's not for dirt tracks or oh, this is a dirt track you know what I mean the suspension does feel a lot softer than the original but obviously I'm going to confirm it so here we go it's quite noisy to start off with and you've got to be very very careful with the throttling you have to feather the throttle all the time. I love the thing. It is fantastic. The seats, the seats sprung, the suspension sprung, air suspension. I thought it was good before, but it's now, it's it's just unbelievable. It, it just, it's so comfortable. It's unreal. Um, I mean, obviously this is off-road and there's water here. Uh, this is the pool that I usually come to. Look, you see, without this, I couldn't have come down here. Like I said on the, when I did the maiden run, um, there's no way I could have come down here because of my legs. I can't walk this far, but I can come out. And it's, this is a complete, a complete sanity break for me. Because being inside, or if, well, if I go for a walk around the block, that's all I ever see. I never see things like this. And every now and again, it's nice to do it. The throttle is not smooth at all, which is one thing that I really do need to look at. Um, I haven't looked deep enough, I don't think. Oh, this isn't going to be very good, is it? I'm going to get... Uh, I got through. Oh, shit. Anyway, this, this air suspension that I've fitted on here has made such a difference. It was smooth before, but, but now it's just unreal. I mean, this, this surface here is quite lumpy. But the air suspension's just completely soaked all that up. I wonder if my light works. <gasps> Bloody oh! Look at that. <laughs> that's that's a headlight. <laughs> it's a bit high. Wow. Oh shit. Uh, the people who want to know how fast it's going to go, how fast it goes, um, I'm sorry but you're going to be very very sadly disappointed. I did say at the beginning of this I'm going to do it so as people know what you can achieve if you want to. Um, this is probably capable uh, 60 mile an hour, 65, but I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry but I'm not going to do it. Um, if I come off I'm going to have a problem. I'm doing walking speed, sort of speeds. It's to get me out and it's to make uh, stop me from going bloody insane stuck in the flat all the time. Here we are doing 10 miles an hour. 
No need to go any faster. I think I'm allowed, is it 12 and a half or 15? I can't remember. Is it 15 and a half miles an hour? Which to me is plenty, to be honest. I know that they're going to be they're going to be legalising these things soon, but I think the restrictions are going to be stupid. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to ride this legally, uh, but I, I reckon they're they're going to knock the power down. They're going to knock. They've got to tax them in some way, which I think is going to be stupid. There you go. Nice steep hill. Still maintaining whatever speed I want. No problem at all. <laughs> and I know you want to see me on the road and open it up, but I, I'm not sorry, but I'm not doing it. I can't. I can't do it because if I come off, it's really, really going to hurt. And I'm, I'm. I struggle to walk as it is, and I really don't want to take any chances in in get, being any more damaged. I'm sorry, but I'm too old for that shit. I feel like I've, no, I haven't bloody cheated you because I told you that from the start. I said every, I've said every single time that this is not going to be something that you can go absolutely mental on. Um, you know, I, I like educating people, and I got all these parts for the same price that you could actually get all the cheaper ones for. You know, so I thought, well, make it into a bloody meme machine, and then you can have fun on it. And, and it is fun, and it weighs lighter than the original. The range on it, I reckon, is about, what, 40 mile? By the amount of current that he's actually using. Uh, what's that, 300, 300 watts I'm doing now.